Slow down, Tommy. You still got a couple hours. Wouldn't want me to choke death for the big show, huh, Sheriff? Don't matter to me. He'll probably hang you anyway. Folks do like to see a horse thief swing. One bit of luck for you, though. Got yourself a real hangman, professional. Ought to go quick and easy. Quick and easy. Phineas Newman has a unique profession and takes pride in his work. He owns no shop and sells no product. All of his customers are dissatisfied, yet none ever complain. Phineas Newman is a hangman. To the varied ropes and other tools of his trade, Phineas will now be adding the dead man's gun. In the American West, a gun touched by evil passed from hand to hand, changing the lives of all who possessed it. Its origin unknown, its dark legend grew came to be known as the dead man's gun. How was that, Phineas? Good. I think the linchpin needs oiling. All right, Tommy. It's about time. I want my gun. All right. Reckon a man's got a right to die with his gun in his holster, even if it has brought him nothing but trouble. You bury it on me, too. No use for anyone to catch the evil I got. in your eyes. You are just as dead as the men you hang. Before, haven't you, mister? I promise you will feel no pain. Thank you. <laughs> By order of the court, let the execution of Thomas O'Connell be duly carried out. Why'd you start being a hangman, Phineas? 
I saw my uncle being hanged. Some cowboys threw a rope over a branch. Spooked his horse. He hang there about 20 minutes, choking. They didn't know the difference between snapping a man's neck and strangulation. Is that when you decided? It's not a hangman's job to make a man suffer. Sorry about your uncle. Oh, don't be. He was a murderer. He was a thief. You ever think about heaven and hell, Phineas? No. Me neither. And I reckon it just gets in the way of things. George, go look after the horses. We have to be in Delfield first thing. Phineas. What that woman said to you about being just as dead as the men you hang, well, I don't think that was hardly right of her to say. Phineas Newman. Oh, the hangman. All right, why don't you tell me what arrangements you'll need made? We'll get this thing over with. They seem very eager to see this man hanged. Hanged? They don't want him dead, Mr. Newman. They want him alive. The man's name is Justice. The Reverend Franklin Justice. Minister. I suppose you want to hear about the crime? No, I never inquire about the details. The victim's name. It was Margaret O'Leary. She was 16 years old. Who is going to build the gallows? The carpenters in town. Good. You know that she was raped and murdered, right? These are the plans. I would like them followed exactly. Franklin testified that he was just ministering to the girl. Of course, he was lying through his teeth. Most do. You the hangman? Yes. You're hanging an innocent man. Madam, I doubt you know more than a court of law. She was my daughter. I'd know if he killed her. In here, I'd know. Yourself, gents, you're about to lay your eyes on a cold blooded killer. Franklin. This here is Mr. Newman and George. They're here to measure you up for your hanging tomorrow. Please come in.
Six and an eighth. I imagine most men tell you they're innocent. Most do, some don't. Fifteen and a half. Would it be futile for me to try? Yes. Eight and seven eighths. Have you ever hanged an innocent man, Mr. Newman? No. How can you be sure? Because I only hang by court order. Please, get on the scale. Will you stop moving, sir? 164. You can get down now. An equation. A man's life comes down to one cruel formula. Cruel? Do you know how many men are strangled by amateur hangmen? Do you know how many men are decapitated? Have you ever seen that? So, tomorrow, I will be your best friend. Thank you, but see, I, I already have a best friend. A Bible? What is that, just another formula? Perhaps. For living, however. Thousands of lines on hundreds of pages, your formula for death occupies but one line. George. There's a no room in your equation for mercy. Mercy is not mine to give. It is every man's to give. Don't you understand? Mr. Newman, you, you, can, you can choose not to do this. It is not up to me. Sheriff. You're about to hang an innocent man. You're about to commit murder. Sheriff. I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, Choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. You see, Mr. Norman, you do have a choice. The only men who have no choices left, sir, are the dead. Sheriff, I didn't kill that poor girl. I, I didn't kill anybody. I can prove it to you. All finished? Completely. Please. Please. I didn't kill that girl. I didn't kill anybody! Please. Have you ever hanged an innocent man, Mr. Newman? You can choose 
not to do this. Would you pour the lady a glass? Please. I ain't no lady. I'm a whore. How much? Mister, I've been with hundreds of men. From horse thieves to killers. I've even been with a man of the cloth. Made me call him daddy. I'm not a man of the cloth. I've done everything you can imagine. Everything a woman can do. But I wouldn't sleep with you for all the money in the world. Hangman. Looks like you're out of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like. There's no life in your eyes. You're just as dead as the men you hang. I wouldn't sleep with you. You've done this before, haven't you, mister? You're about to hang an innocent man. Hey, there's no life in your eyes. I wouldn't say that you've the money in the world. You're about to commit murder. You've done this before. There's no life in your You're about to hang it in the Get away from me! You are Get away from me! You don't know! You don't know my life! I have set before you... Get away from me! Life and death. Therefore, choose life. Until you know.
It takes longer than I imagined it would. It has to be just right. God have mercy on your soul. Frankly, Justice, it is now our duty to carry out the order of the court that you be duly executed. No, George. Well, it never happened before. No. Well, this looks fine. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I suppose you know the law about this sort of thing. I do. Franklin Justice is a free man. What does he mean by that, Phineas? A man survives an execution, he's free to go. The law says it's an act of God. Of course, any one of these kelp folks could have thrown a rope over a tree and hanged that man without any trouble. Here, you being a professional man would almost have to think the wrong thing. George, there is no one more suspicious than a lawman who's been proven wrong. job as long as you live. Probably not. Will it be Hangman? My name isn't Hangman, it's Phineas. What will it be? Phineas. Whiskey? Whiskey it is. Seems the Lord saved both our souls today, Mr. Newman. Seems he did. She's the sweetest flower in the garden. Buy yourself a drink. There's a man who's going to be ashamed of himself in the morning. There's nothing shameful in being alive. Ah, good morning, George. It seems like you had yourself a pretty good time last night. I had a fine time. Well, that's nice. But I have been thinking... About what? I've been thinking that it is time for me to retire. Retire? Yes. But, Phineas, you're the only hangman in these parts. What are people gonna do? Well, I imagine they're gonna continue to hang folks with or without me. But not nearly as good as you, Phineas. No one's as good as you. Thank you. Well, what about you? What about me? Well, what are your plans? Well, I thought that I would get licensed and bonded and carry on the tradition. Of course you will. 
George Thatcher, hangman. Yeah. You just remember what it does to a man. Oh, I know what it's done for you, Phineas. Yeah. Um, Phineas? Yes. I've been meaning to ask you about the gun. Now, I thought you didn't carry a gun. Well, this one's not for killing. All guns are for killing, Phineas. No, not this one. This one is for something more. Farewell, Mr. Newman. Oh, goodbye, Reverend. I'm so sorry about the, uh... Don't be. The scars of others should teach us caution. St. Jerome. Be well. innocent, did you? Mr. Newman. You go on now, Pete. You keep up with your prayers, everything will be all right. Thank you. May I sit down? Of course. So sorry for disturbing you. Oh, that's okay. The boy was just leaving. I have to talk to you. You know what? Maybe this is not the place. Yeah. No one will bother us here. Good. Because this is. This is very difficult for me. I'm here for you. The thing is. I used to have a sickness. A sickness? I gambled. You understand? I couldn't stop. I lost everything. But you've cured yourself. I became a hangman, which demands discipline. That's a devil's bargain. Amen. The thing is, this morning I met a man in town that I knew from the old days. Maybe you saw him. He was in town with his beautiful young daughter. I don't believe I did. John Danforth. He, he has a, a ranch just north of Nelson Springs. He lives alone with his little girl. Well, he told me that every night when that poor little girl goes to sleep, he slips out, comes into town to play poker. invited me tomorrow night to play a game. And you're going to go? I am trying with all my might not to go. But these feelings are there again. It's like they were inside just waiting. You've done the right thing. You're not sick, Phineas. The fact that you're talking about it proves that. But... Your friend. I know I should just stay away from yes, him. Yes, you could do that, but you could also choose to help him. How could I help him? Perhaps you could meet with him. Confront it. Together. We all have a responsibility to help the weak. You give him this. And you read aloud together. Make it a condition of the game, if you must. You must do this, Phineas. Don't be afraid.
Phineas. Not yet. What's going on, Phineas? I'm going to hang him again, George. He, you can't do that. The law I'm going to measure him. I'm going to weigh him. I'm going to tie sandbags to his feet. I'm going to snap his neck. How are you going to do that? He is going to kill again. How do you know? Because I'm going to see to it. And then I'm going to hang him. Phineas, I thought you were through with hanging. this into the barn. Is he okay? Of course he's okay. He's just unconscious. I don't want nothing to do with this, Phineas. You've got nothing to do with this. I mean, I'm already sorry. I already got anything to do with it. George, will you go back to town then? Damn it. You gotta swear to me that nothing's gonna happen to that girl. Well, nothing is gonna happen. Swear to me. I swear to you nothing is gonna happen, George. Now, will you help me push this into the barn? All right, then you can go. Push. I just want to catch him red-handed. That's all. You know, I almost considered letting you kill that girl. I couldn't. So which one of us is worse, Minister? Kill? My lord, is that what you thought? I was just coming to make sure the poor girl was all right out here alone. Through the window. <laughs> no one would have taken your word over mine, Hangman. Yeah, I killed one girl already. They still wouldn't believe it. Is that you, Pa? It is the opinion of this court that the defendant is guilty. I sentence you to hang by the neck until dead. Phineas Newman, may God have mercy on your soul. Phineas, please. Write it down. Okay, now measure from the fourth vertebrae. No, starting at the base of the skull. Haven't I taught you anything? Don't make me do this. I know you ain't guilty. The law of freedom. I killed him. That's a hanging offense. That's all you need to concern yourself with. Three and a half. Exactly. It's too even a number. Three and three-eighths. Better. Phineas, now you tell me. How did you fix the noose? Tell me how to do it, Phineas. Damn it, tell me. One sixty-two. I don't know. 
what you know. You about done? He's done. George, you picked that noose very carefully. Not a personal, son, but uh, we're going to be using my rope on this one. Let's go. request. Go get that gun. Come on, please. Go get the gun before you drop. Nobody's singing any hymns for me. News Phineas. The sheriff made it. Looks fine to me. Concentrate, George. Make it tighter. the jaw. All right, move it to the left. Yeah, I think that'll do. There. Go no ahead. George. Thank you. Such a nice job here, son. I'll let you pull the cord. How much wrong you can do there? Uh, not yet, Sheriff. I need my gun. That gun's been nothing but trouble since the day you got it. I agree with you, George. It seems to be the cause of my present circumstance. So why do you want it now? I don't know. It's just a strong feeling. I have a very strong feeling that it's not the rope. It's not the law that decides my fate. It's the gun. And it's just the way it is. Newman, it is now our duty to carry out the order of the court that you be duly executed. Let's do it.
Phineas. I made the noose myself with my rope. <coughs> the blessed act of God. You know, Phineas, I still don't understand the gun. It's a wonder, that's for sure. But I don't need it anymore. I've, I've made my choice. I'm so sorry to have disappointed you in lieu of your fee. It's been said that dying is easy, but living is hard. Phineas Newman would agree. A lesson learned better late than never, courtesy of the dead man's gun. <laughs>